This video is just a quick one on how to remove your Jacobs chuck and to identify which Morse taper you have for your drill press. This particular drill press is a 15 inch by WEN, W-E-N. A lot of the drill presses coming in from across the ocean, they are coming with several different sizes of Morse tapers, anywhere from a one on up to a four. As an example, Harbor Freight on their 20 inch model, some models have the Morse Taper 3, it'll be listed as MT3, and some have the bigger MT4. Quite a bit of difference between those two tapers. This one is supposed to be an MT2, but I'm going to remove it. We'll do a quick measurement, and I'll show you how to measure them. And we're going to get our specifications off the internet. It's as simple as that. You can call it up on your smartphone or your home PC. And it's going to fall out, so you want to protect it. You don't want to let it hit this base very hard. Just put a block of wood there to protect it. A tool should come with your drill press. This wedge. This is what knocks it out. I've already turned my chuck to line it up. It was like this. You can't see it. You'll have to turn your chuck. Now you can see the top of the tang or the top of the, the Morse taper. That makes the top of the tang visible. Three hands would be sweet. So there she be. Now we'll take her over to the bench and we'll take some measurements. We'll measure the length, this distance right here between my thumb and index finger. Okay, after you get your Morse taper out, you can get online and there's all kinds of charts, all kinds of information. If you just Google Morse tapers and you'll come up, uh, you can even find charts on your Jacobs taper, the Brown and Sharp tapers. This is just an example of one. Some of them will list the length from the top of the taper down to the end and that's what I've done here at 3.12 they also list from the top of the taper down to the top of the tang or where the, the tang cuts away and that's going to be this part here I opted to go with the long measurement so I measured from the top of the taper here to where the step is down to the very end here. But I want to show you the differences in the measurements. So you're not going to make a mistake on this. Whether you use a, a really accurate dock caliper down to the thousands or a basic six or seven dollar cheap dock caliper. You're going to be able to tell what you've got. Because look at the difference here. On the upper diameter, on a one, is less than a half. It's pushing, on the next size up, it's pushing three quarters of an inch. Number three is pushing an inch, a four. And number four is pushing a full inch and a quarter inch. That's diameter up here. So the difference... I'm supposed to be 700 thousandths, I'm 705. 706 you're going to have a variance some of them are 695 the difference between this this is an MT2 to a 4 that's a massive inch and a quarter just take a look at that that's a massive upper shank diameter 1.23 inches in that size the MT4 is what's coming out on the Harbor Freight 20 inch production model drill press. That's just a massive taper. So mine is the number two. We'll confirm it. Just like we did, we're looking at uh, 700 thousandths for the upper diameter. We're at 709. There's a 695. Calipers are frantic. There's a 703. So we're going to call that. That alone is to me is good enough to, to identify it because of the differences. Now the tip diameter will measure from here to here across, not here, but down here where the taper is still coming into play on it. 
and we're at a 585 we should have been a 572 and on the length I'm going to go from the top of the step now to me this is tricky on exactly where to measure from here so I'm going to go to the top of the step to the very tip of the tang three inches and 132 thousandths and I'm supposed to be looking at three inches and 120 thousandths instead of 3.12 I'm getting a 3.13 all that is close enough plenty close enough to identify it as a number two so now when I order my adapter I'll go online and I'll find a Morse taper number two to a three-quarter weldon so I can use the annular cutters and just hope that I have good luck and get one with uh, with a small amount of run out if any if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask in the comment section and if this video has helped you any i'd appreciate it if you'd hit that old like button and i thank you for you taking your time watching and please subscribe have a good one